Although primitive chordates possess some of the same molecular and cellular components of the vertebrate eye, they lack complex lateral eyes. Hagfish have very simple eyes, which either means that their eyes have degenerated from a more advanced ancestral state, or perhaps that they represent a more primitive uh, lineage of fish um, predating the common ancestor of lampreys and jawed vertebrates. Lampreys are the most primitive vertebrates to possess complex lateral eyes, and there are striking similarities to those of the jawed vertebrates. So for example, with regard to the muscles which move the eye, the extrinsic ocular muscles, the jawed vertebrates have six muscles which develop from three embryonic regions and are innervated by three cranial nerves. One sees the same pattern in lampreys, including with similar gene expression, although although there are some minor differences, such as the number of muscles innervated by the ocular motor and abducens nerves, and there is discussion as to the specific homology of individual muscles, such as the superior oblique. In this preserved lamprey, the corneal proteins have changed their shape and thus are no longer transparent as they would be in life. The retina of the lamprey eye possesses great similarities to the retinas of the eyes of jawed vertebrae possessing both rods for light perception in dim light and cones for bright light. The shape of these photoreceptor cells, the bleaching of the chromophore retinol after uh, interacting with light, the phototransduction pathway by which uh, these cells uh, transmit the message that light has been perceived, the functional range, the three layers of the retina, including the ganglion cells absent in hagfish, and then the ability to dis uh, discriminate between different intensities of light and perhaps even different colors. The retina of the lamprey is unlike the retina of more advanced vertebrates in the morphology of the ganglion cells, the undifferentiated state of the retina in the larva, and then also the presence of photoreceptors in the skin and pineal gland in addition to the eye. The lamprey eye is similar to the eyes of advanced vertebrates in other ways as well, with the possession of a cornea, an iris, which can uh, perform a pupillary light reflex using a different opsin than those in the photoreceptors, melanopsin-like in higher vertebrates, the melanin accumulation in the pigment epithelium adjacent to the retina, and also the presence of transparent crystalline proteins in the lens. A major difference between the eyes of lampreys and those of higher vertebrates is that the lens focuses light not by distorting its shape, but rather um, by the corneal muscle uh, contracting on the cornea, uh, which then alters the position of the lens. So instead of changing the shape of the lens, pulling on the cornea changes its position in order to focus light. Note that there is a translucent layer of skin at the top of the head, which allows light to reach the part of the diencephalon of the brain, known as the pineal organ, where photoreceptors are detecting light, allowing for the training of biological rhythms or circadian rhythms with the day-night cycle. 